as well. And this is Kisses Break! Have you ever found yourself re-watching Finding Nemo? Yup, I see you. You over there, and you in the back. I see you, Nemo fans. So you're sitting there and you see the reef where Nemo lives and you're like, wow, that is a beautiful place. Me too. Well, the reefs are changing quickly and not for the better. That is why today we are asking the question, why are coral reefs so important? If you like this video, use that flipper to click that like button and the subscribe button. And make sure you flop on that bell. So to find that out, we have to ask, what are corals and coral reefs? First of all, corals are a living organism. If you take a closer look at a coral, it is covered by polyps. Polyps are like little mouths surrounded by tiny tentacles. When they digest their food, they excrete calcium carbonate. That is what makes the coral skeleton. Over time, that skeleton grows and grows, making an elaborate coral. When enough corals get together, they form a coral reef. Now that you have an idea what a coral is, let's look at why they are so important. For starters, they are homes for a quarter of all marine life. Much like the movie Finding Nemo, the reef is where many fish have their babies because it offers protection so they can grow up in safety before they head out to sea. Fishermen rely on those fish for their business and us for the food. The reef helps balance the water chemistry of the ocean and provide nutrients for the animals living in the reef. They protect people as well. If a big storm's heading for land, the reef breaks the large waves that would otherwise smash into the land and cause us great harm. People even make some medicines from species on the coral reef. Here's Nelly with a cool fact about corals. Do you know why corals are all sorts of bright colors? That's because tiny algae live inside the tissue of the corals and create beautiful colors. The coral is a safe home for algae and in return, the algae helps the corals grow. That's really cool, Nelly. Thanks. We have a problem. The coral reefs around the world are dying. Coral reefs take anywhere from 100,000 to 30 million years to form. And for the last 30 years, we have been killing them off. Coral reefs are very susceptible to water temperature changes. If the temperature of the water raises two or three degrees, the coral gets stressed and gets rid of the algae and just turns white. Coral can survive a bleaching, but repeated stress will kill it and the ocean water has only been getting warmer. Check out these pictures that could better show you what's going on. The water is getting warmer because people are pumping more carbon into the atmosphere and that traps the heat here on Earth. 93% of that trapped heat gets absorbed by the ocean and raises the water temperature and kills the reef. If the reefs aren't there, there's nowhere for the fish to grow up, no small fish for the bigger fish to eat, no fish for us to eat, and nothing to protect the land from large storm waves. If we don't have a healthy reef, we don't have a healthy ocean, and then we don't have a healthy planet. So what can we do? The good news is that 
You're like Clea already doing a lot of things to heal the planet and stop global warming. Make sure you don't throw your garbage in the oceans or lakes. Use less water so there's less runoff. And if you live near a coastline, you can volunteer to help clean up the oceans and waterways. There's a link in the description with some other ideas from the National Ocean Service. If we can do that, we can help life both above and below the waves. For those of you who have a Netflix subscription, we highly recommend you watching Chasing Corals. It opened our eyes how important this topic is. If the forests are the lungs of the planet, then the coral reefs are the life force of the ocean. To watch this video in French, click here. To watch something a little different, click here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you around the reef.